All right, guys. So today's video is on a very interesting pair of true wireless earbuds. And the pair that we're going to talk about is the Velocity Crystal 5A. And these earbuds are probably one of the most advanced pair of earbuds I've tested and also one of the most frustrating. So we're going to talk about all of that. Uh, but I do want to start with the price and the availability. Uh, it does come in two different colors. I have the white version here, but it's also available in black. Uh, it is an Indiegogo funded project. So it's not something you can go out and buy right now. Uh, it says that it's going to retail for $199, which is pretty pricey for a company that most of us have never heard of. But right now it actually has a super early bird price of 129 now these aren't supposed to ship until march of 2024 so we're about four months out uh, from these actually shipping which also means some of my frustrations might be able to be fixed with firmware updates but we'll talk about all of that now to start with some of the tech that these have and some of the things that make these pretty advanced is it does have bluetooth 5.4 and if i'm not mistaken this is the first pair of true wireless earbuds that i've tested with Bluetooth 5.4. And the one thing that I did notice is it does an excellent job with media. Uh, you really don't have to worry about lag with these and you don't have a gaming mode to switch them into. It's just that Bluetooth 5.4 doing such a good job with media. And also it has LE audio or low energy audio. Uh, it also has what they're calling LC3, which means it's taking advantage of even like lower bit rate music and making it sound better than like SBC. So standard Bluetooth codec. Uh, this pair does a better job than just having that standard Bluetooth codec, but that's just really a lot of technical stuff. Another thing is it also has Snapdragon sound, which means it also supports Aptex lossless. So you can get lossless playback, which means you can have your Bluetooth audio pretty much sound like CD quality audio, but it also supports Aptex Adaptive. It also supports Aptex HD. So there are a lot of high-end Bluetooth codecs built into this pair. Now it also works with Velocity's app. This is where a lot of the frustration comes from because it took me like 10 attempts to try to update these to actually get them updated. I kept getting an error, it just wouldn't do it. And you know, I almost got to the point where I said the hell with this, I was just gonna bail on it and then just forget it because it was that frustrating. But I did eventually get these to update. So that's a huge plus in the fact that you can keep these updated because of that app. But it also has EQ options. Uh, you can go in and actually turn the touch controls off on this pair, which again, I think that's beneficial uh, when you know you're gonna be using your earbuds where you may be adjusting them quite often. It also has control over side tone. So if you're on a phone call and you want to be able to hear yourself, uh, you can toggle this on. Uh, you can also switch it into transparency mode, which you have to do within the app uh, because you can't do that on the earbuds. Uh, and we'll talk about that in a second once we talk about the controls. And then really that's about it. You can turn your noise canceling on within the app, but you can also do that uh, within the earbuds themselves. Uh, it does show though on their Indiegogo page that there's a toggle for the sensor that's on the earbud. So you can turn the sensor on and off. Even with my update, I did not see this. So this isn't something that I can talk about, but it does have sensors. So it will pause when you take them out of your ears uh, and it will just go back to playing what you're listening to uh, once you put them back in. Now, some other things is it also has dual drivers. So it's using an eight millimeter liquid silicone driver mixed with a balanced armature driver. And that in itself, again, is something pretty impressive because you have a driver that can focus on the low end while you have a balanced armature driver that can focus on the clarity of the mids and the treble and just try to keep everything separated. Again, we'll talk about that once we get to the sound. Now it also has what they're calling Pearl Spatial Audio. Now this is not something that I saw as an option in the app. It's not something that you have control over on the earbud. I think it's just something that the sound has in general. And again, we'll talk about it once we get to the sound, but there is a decent amount of space in these that's not normally on other earbuds. So I think that Pearl Spatial Audio is something that's just baked into the sound and not something you necessarily turn on or off. Now, as far as 
the actual build and the design of the case and the earbuds, I do think it's a little dated. I mean, it reminds me a lot of Sennheiser's earbuds as far as the earbuds themselves. Uh, the case just, again, kind of looks like a generic case. There's nothing fancy here. Uh, the case is a Qi wireless charging case, which I do like. So you can just come in, drop it on a wireless charger. You don't have to worry about, you know, plugging in the USB-C cable that's included in here. And again, I just find that comes in handy. But speaking of the charging, battery life is also pretty decent. Now, if you use these with the noise canceling turned off, you can get about eight hours on the earbuds and 30 hours using the case. If you do use them with the noise canceling on, it's going to drop that battery life down to six hours on the earbuds and about 24 hours using the case. Now, I didn't see anywhere where there's any kind of fast charging. I don't know if I missed something or if it's, you know, but I, there's no information on that. And again, because these are so new to the fact that they're not really available to the public, uh, there's not a whole lot of information on these yet. Some other things is these do use touch controls. Uh, but sadly, they don't control everything. And actually, confusingly, there's no track control. I mean, you can play, pause, turn your volume up and down. Uh, you can also toggle the noise canceling on or just toggle it off. But you can't skip your tracks forward or go backwards. You have to just do it on the device itself. Uh, again, because it works with an app, hopefully this is something that they will add later. Uh, but as of right now, that's just a little frustrating. You can't control your tracks. Now, another thing I do also want to point out, another frustration that I had with these, I noticed like this was 50% of the time. So half of the time when I put the earbuds in the case, it would just disconnect like it's supposed to. Uh, and then I could go on my merry way and not have to just worry that my earbuds are still connected to my phone. But the other half, I would have them in the earbuds the exact same way. I didn't do anything special. I'd close the lid and they would still stay connected to my phone. I would go to play something on my phone and I would hear it out of something way off at a distance and it's because the music was still playing out of the earbuds in the case like on the other side of the room. Uh, so that is definitely something that's frustrating. You have to sit there, put them in the case, close the lid and watch your phone to make sure that it disconnects so that you don't have to worry you're still connected. Now, if you are gonna look to use these outdoors, uh, it does come in with an IPX4 rating, which is, you know, pretty much normal on any pair that has noise canceling. Uh, so you'll be fine against rain and sweat and splashes and things like that, but obviously don't drop these into water. But speaking of the noise canceling, this is another area that I don't think is a huge selling point on these. Uh, it does a decent job with lower tones. Uh, so, you know, engine noises, AC units, anything like that, it's gonna be fine. Uh, but what I noticed is if I was playing anything where people were talking, you would notice that the bass would just be pulled out of it, but you would still hear dialogue just as the same way you would any other pair of earbuds. So the noise canceling isn't anything fantastic. There's not really any control that you have over the noise canceling. It really is just turning it on or turning it off. And the transparency mode, Again, because this is a new pair, I'm hoping that this gets fixed in an update. The only thing I heard was digital noise in the mic. I could still hear what I was listening to as far as the music goes, but where transparency is made for you to be able to hear your surroundings or hear if somebody's talking to you, that really wasn't the case with these. The mics seriously were just pulling in digital noise. Uh, so that is what you're hearing over your music. And it just kind of, defeated the whole purpose of having a transparency mode. So mine didn't really work that well here. Uh, so I definitely wanted to point that out. Now, as far as anything that they've included in the box, it does come with five sets of silicone ear tips. Uh, so there's plenty of different sizes to make sure that you're getting the right one. Uh, like I said earlier, it does come with that USB-C cable and then that's it. It's, it's pretty simple. Uh, but one accessory I found to be very interesting, and this is something that you can get as an add-on. It's not something included in the box, is they actually have a USB-A and USB-C dongle that allows you to plug into a laptop or the Steam Deck or the Switch or anything that has a USB-C or USB-A port and it turns it into where you can take advantage of Bluetooth 5.4. It's all baked into that dongle. So you're not heavily relying on the device itself like a laptop or, you know, again, the Steam Deck or something like that. Having that dongle and having Bluetooth transmit 5.4 into the earbuds that have 5.4, uh, it makes things a lot more instant and it makes it a lot more compatible 
on taking advantage of other devices and getting the better Bluetooth audio that you can get. And I think as an add-on, you can get this for $33. I don't have this, so I wasn't able to test it, but this is what that dongle is supposed to be able to do. Now, if you're looking to use this pair of earbuds for taking phone calls, uh, it is using MIMS microphones and it's also using CVC technology. So it's supposed to focus in on your voice. It's supposed to block out a lot of your surroundings. And I think it does an okay job at this. I don't think it's really doing anything special, uh, but you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. All right, guys. So here's the mic test using the Crystal 5A. And I think for the most part, it's doing a pretty decent job of picking up my voice. Uh, so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here is the mic test for the crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound. And the first thing that I want to point out is how similar the sound is to Sennheiser's Momentum earbuds. And if you want to compare price tags on those, you know, these are 200 or the early bird price of 129, where the Sennheiser Momentum earbuds are $300 or $350. I can't really remember. So that's actually a pretty big price difference, uh, especially if you're going to get something where sound is comparable. And in my opinion, these have more bass. The bass is a little bit more bloated on these than it is the Sennheiser's. So it's like they're trying to give you more of a a subwoofer type feel uh, instead where Sennheiser is trying to tighten it up a little bit but where the big comparison is with these and the momentums is the space that these have in the sound there is so much you know openness in these even with the bass as heavy as it is it doesn't feel like it's right there in front it doesn't feel like it's trying to destroy everything uh, mids and treble are excellent the mids on these sound incredible, vocalists sound great. Uh, the treble on these are nice and bright. Now it can get quite harsh at times depending on how loud you're listening to these, but I actually welcome this because of how strong the bass is. This is not a pair that's trying to hide the fact uh, that it's being dynamic, it's trying to be in your face when it comes to the low end, it's trying to be in your face when it comes to the details, uh, but the space saves all of this. It, again, it's not right there, you know, hitting you right in the face. Uh, it's not there overly bright where it's not enjoyable. Having that space allows these to not be as fatiguing as a lot of other earbuds that try to do this. And really for switching between all of the different genres, these just sound great across the board. Again, I think really my only frustrations are a lot of the technical things that can be fixed within updates. Uh, like I said earlier, there are some EQ options within the app, but I'm going to be honest, it really uh, doesn't do a whole lot except where you can tell the mids kind of change between each one. And in fact, really my favorite one out of all of them is the Rock EQ setting. And again, I, I went in and did a custom EQ setting, you know, to kind of cater it a little bit more towards my taste. But if I were to have to pick one of the pre-built ones, I like the rock one the most. For some reason, it seemed to boost the mids a little bit more uh, than some of the other ones that I tested, including the speech one, which I thought was odd. Uh, so there's some quirks. There's some things that you got to play around with. And there's also, you know, taking that chance because it's an Indiegogo project. Uh, you hope that it makes, you hope that it's going to ship in March of 2024 when it says it is. Uh, but that's really the risk with all of these crowdfunded type of projects. So uh, from a sound aspect, I'm a huge fan of these. Uh, from a design aspect, not so much. And from technical aspects, again, the Bluetooth 5.4 is super interesting. The LE audio, that LC3 technology, the spatial audio that it has baked in is definitely doing something here. So there really is a lot to like, but there's again, also hesitation because of a lot of those quirks. So it's really gonna come down to if you just want to try the newest technology and you don't mind just kind of waiting it out for a little bit to even be available, but also waiting it out for them to kind of iron out some of these quirks. But guys, that wraps up my video on the Velocy Crystal 5A True Wireless Earbuds. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.